Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach of Kodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. yud heh vav -Hey is our power and authority. Yahava works in unity with himself, and you shall act upon your love to Yahweh with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Colossians 4. Masters, treat your slaves justly and fairly. Remember that you too have a master in heaven. Keep persisting in prayer, start staying alert in it, and being thankful. Include prayer for us too, that God may open a door for us to proclaim the message about the secret of the Messiah, for that is why I'm in prison, and pray that I may speak as I should in a way that makes the message clear. Behave wisely toward others. Be behave wisely toward outsiders, making full use of every opportunity. Let your conversation always be gracious and interesting so that you will know how to respond to any particular individual. Our dear brother Tychicus, who is a faithful worker and fellow slave in the Lord, will give you all the news about me. I have sent him to you for this very reason, so that you might know how, how we are and so that he might encourage you. I have sent him with Omnius the dear and faithful brother who is one of you. They will tell you everything that has happened here. Arstriuskas, my fellow prisoner, sends greetings, as does Mark, Barnaba's cousin, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. Yeshua, the one called Justice, also sends greetings. These three are among the circumcised. And among my fellow workers of the kingdom of God, only they have turned out to be a comfort to me. Apophras sends greetings. He is one of you, a slave of the Messiah Yeshua, who always agonizes in his prayer on your behalf, praying that you may stand firm, mature, and fully confident as you devote yourselves completely to God's will. For I can testify to him that he works hard for you and for those in Laodicea and Hyperlis. Our dear friend Luke, the doctor, and Demas, send you greetings. Give my greetings to the brothers of Laodicea, also to Nympha and the congregation that meets in her home. After this letter has been read to you, have it read also in the congregation of the Laodiceans, and you, in turn, are to read the letter that that will come from Laodicea, and tell Arpicus, see that you complete the task you were given in the Lord. This greeting I, Shaul, write with my own hand. Remember my imprisonment. Grace be to you. Grace be with you. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading the last chapter of Colossians, which is four? We can learn quite a bit. Treat people justly and fairly. Know that Yeshua is our master. Persist in prayer. Stay alert and be thankful. Pray that Yah will open the doors to proclaim the Messiah about the secret of the Messiah. Pray that when we speak, the message will be clear. Behave wisely with others, making use of every opportunity. Let your talking be gracious and interesting so you will know how to respond to anyone. Aim to be like Tychicus, a fellow slave in the Lord. That's our master. Be an encourager. Be welcoming to each other. Aim to be a fellow worker for the kingdom of Yah. Aim to comfort each other. Aim to be like Epaphras, a slave of Messiah, who always agonizes in prayer on others' behalf. Pray that you stand firm, maturely, and, co and fully confident. Aim to devote yourselves completely to Yah's will. Work hard for Yah. Meet in each other's homes. Read Yah's word. Read Yah's word to each other. 
aim to complete the task you were given in the Lord. Grace be with you. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can agonize in prayer for each other. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can be encouraging, comfort each other, read Yah's word to each other. End with the Arianic blessing. yud Hey vav Hey will kneel before you presenting gifts. And he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahava will illuminate the wholeness of his being toward you, bringing order. And he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahava will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen.